day two of the United States Disc Golf Championship. It's Thursday, the weather is beautiful. We're looking for mid 70s today. The wind shouldn't be quite as brisk as it was yesterday, but the guys will still have to contend with it. Now, what two lead stories, Philip Brothwaite, AKA Philo, broke the 60 barrier, shot a 59. Now there's still elite players coming in. We could have another 59 as it is pristine right now for golf. But so far, Philip Brothwaite, the only one in. The other big story today was the pin movement. First time ever a pin has been moved at the championship. Hole number 17 moved from the left front edge of the green, standing on the tee pad, to the center of the green. A much easier shot today. Now the overnight leaders, Will Schustrick, Nico LaCastro, both shot seven down. KJ, that's Carl Johan Nebu, shot a six down yesterday, 62, and Josh Crow with a five down, 63. We're gonna go right now to hole number one as the lead card's fixing tee off, and then we'll follow them over to hole three. Here's Billy calling some golf for you on the USDGC.com. Well, this is round number two, the second day here at the United States Disc Golf Championship. This is the lead card. First on the tee is gonna be Will Shoestrick. Will is out of Tennessee, Knoxville, and there he comes to the tee right now. Will shot a 61 yesterday, seven down. First time he's been in this position. On the lead card, in the lead. A little low, just needs one skip. Oh, he's got it. That is a beautiful shot by Will Schustrick. That's how you start the round. Matching Will 61. This is a defending champ. This is Nico LeCastro. Nico only finding one OB stroke yesterday and that was on a putt. Almost a perfect round. He's looking to try to at least match that today if not go lower. Oh, and Nico hits a limb, and he's off to a poor start as he's going to par this hole, it looks like, if he can get up and down. Now making his way to the tee, he had the low round most of the day out of Denmark. This is Carl Johan Nebu. He ended yesterday with a 62, looking to get off to a good start, and he has certainly not been in this atmosphere in his career yet, not leastwise not in the States. A little early. Oh, what a fortunate reverse skip, and he's gonna end up with a birdie putt after a missed shot. Now stepping to the tee out of Oklahoma. This is Josh Crow. He shot a 63 yesterday, and the first time he's found himself in this position on the lead card, nerves will be tested today. This is the opening of the second round for the lead card here on Thursday afternoon. Oh, that's up, that's into the limb, that's straight down. He's gonna have a tough up and down for his par. We're off with the lead card here Thursday afternoon. This is the 2010 United States Disc Golf Championship. Well, Josh Crow with an unfortunate drive right into a small little limb there. There's two trees that have been planted in memory of Bill Jacobson's grandchildren. If you don't know Bill Jacobson, then you've just never been to the tournament because he is an intricate part. Oh, that's a dangerous shot. He's got it up and he's gonna, oh, he crawls over. He's gonna actually have himself a birdie putt, but it's gonna be a circle's edge. No gimme as he's going downhill with a runaway green. We'll let the group come to us here. This is your lead card. Nico LaCastro will be next, as you can see him coming around the edge there. Not the start he was looking for. Nico's probably 85 feet away, should just be looking to lay up, take his three, but he is a super aggressive player and he could give this a run. It looks like Nico's gonna give it a run and he does. Solid bid as he comes in, misses it on the pro side. He's gonna be about 14 feet long. We'll let him come to us now as KJ, affectionately known by the Americans. This is Carl Johan Nebu. And he really got a, a fortunate reverse skip to get him down. He's got himself a birdie opportunity. Rarified air for some of these guys. And KJ's gonna back off now 
as on the right hand side it looks like Josh Crowell who just crawled over the tree there is going to have an opportunity to cart his par here first. Splash out the left side. Now that's a tough start for Josh. He's going to cart a bogey on the first hole. This is just a little 224 footer. And the state flag on this hole is Alabama. Now here's KJ for Bird. But uh, as he gets his round off to the start he needed. Will Schuster gonna move around for a certain bird as Nico LaCastro will be out next. This will be for Nico's par. Nico cards his three, keeps it to a small pill. And now after a great drive, first on the tee, Will Schuster last to putt, gets his birdie. That's the first hole from the lead group here on Thursday afternoon. We'll follow them around the course here, and I believe we'll pick them up on hole three and let you see one more hole from them. But right now, Will Schuster and Nico LeCastro. Will at eight, Nico at seven, and Josh Crow going the wrong way back to four. And KJ up to seven under par. We got a match all day long here. 2010 USDGC. Well, we're with the lead card. This is a magnificent hole. This is hole number three. Sponsored by Maine, this is 389 feet, only playing about 330 feet, 325 to 30 feet downhill. On the tee first, after a fresh birdie here, he's one under in this round, sitting at eight under. This is the defending champ, this is Nico LaCastro. These guys are wanna, gonna wanna keep this thing near the wood line. That is one skinny green, if you come in hot, Nico throwing a frozen rope right at it. Beautiful shot, gonna end up well inside the circle. Pin high, about 23 feet right. Now here's Josh Crawl. Josh coming out bogey in the first hole, getting it right back with a birdie on hole number two. Let's hope that roller coaster ride doesn't last for 18 holes. The wind's picking up. Josh is out of Oklahoma. That should be no problem for him. Oh, he has really taken the ropes out of play as he's just thrown it directly in the woods. Never had a chance to get to the green, but he's safe. He can get a three from over there. Now out of Denmark, here's KJ. KJ sitting at seven under one stroke out of the lead right now. And that's the shot if it'll just hook up. Ah, oh, trickle, trickle, but it spits him out to the edge. He's gonna have one tough putt. Now after a terrible mistake, a really perfect drive on hole number two, just short armed his second shot right OB. Ended up carding a six going backwards. Goes from the lead to the third place in one fell swoop. That's Will Schustrick and that's wide. Will crashes the trees, but it spits him out of the woods. He'll have an easy up and down for his three. We'll let him come down to the green as Nico LeCastro looking for yet another birdie. Well, here's Will Schuster. He came out birdie double bogey. He is just looking to get up and down here. Hey, he gave that thing a little run, but that's just a layup. He's gonna card a three here. He's gonna remain six down. This is the lead card on Thursday afternoon. And now in the woods, Josh Crawl, as he certainly took the OB out of play, crashed it into the woods. Let's see if he can get up and down for his par. We may not be able to find him in there. I am looking, I don't know if Mike can find him, my cameraman, but I can't personally see him. I'm looking for a disc. We'll do our best to call it for you. And there it comes up and over, plops down. That's not a gimme putt right there. As KJ, Nabu is now moving into place and you're gonna see he's gonna have some some tough limbs he's almost to his legs about 10 feet from it and there's a good chance he's gonna have to go to his knee he is certainly gonna have to deal with that he may be able to stretch out far, reach out far enough left to get away from him 
and you can see he is now dealing with it. He's there he goes down to the knee. He just wants to find an open lane and he's gonna have to stay on that knee if he wants to be able to get a full follow through. This is for Bird, this is KJ Naboo out of Denmark. Yeah, half-hearted effort as he sort of lays it up there. And now Josh Crawl will move in, see if he can finish up his par. As he just turned his right into the woods off of the tee, he was able to get out clean. And this is a circle's edge putt. There's a little bit of wind down here. He can't really feel it up next to the woods. You can see that grass fall down, but we've got about a five to seven mile an hour wind. And he will need to take it into consideration. That's for par. As the wind picks up and he can feel it as he comes away from that wood line, even just a few feet. He needs this. He does not need two bogeys two bogeys out of the first three holes. And that's what he's got, two bogeys out of the first three holes. He's gonna be sitting four under par while Nico LeCastro, the current leader right now, he moves in. Nico's looking to get to nine under with back-to-back -back birdies here. as Nico just bangs that home. That's back-to-back -back birdies for the kid. And a two-stroke lead right now on this group as Will Schustrick moves around to tap his par in. Will will remain six down. KJ taps his par in. He will remain seven down. And that's a little action here with the lead card on Thursday afternoon at the 2010 USDGC. We are Clash DVD, and we hope you've enjoyed that. Well, that's your lead card here on Thursday afternoon. Couple of holes, Billy calling the action. Hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget over at PDGA.com, this event is being broadcast live every day. We'll be back tomorrow. We'll follow the lead card round for a few more holes. I'm Billy Crump for the USDGC.com. We'll be here till the final putt falls for you.